Hello everyone, welcome to Debbie's Designs. This is Debbie Henderson coming to you today with Paper Pumpkin September. Let me give it a few more seconds for everyone to join me. So as you can see here, this is our September Paper Pumpkin Kit called Bon Appetit. And the intention of the kit was to create these adorable little treats that I'm going to show you how to create today. There's two different variations. And then on the back of the brochure, if you flip it over, there's some alternative designs there that I'm going to show you how to create. And then tomorrow I'll be back um, at 10 a.m. Eastern time to show you some of my alternative projects. And wasn't the, the kit, the box, pretty in the gorgeous grape color? I just love the color. When these are different to our normal red-orange boxes, I, I hate to part with them. And then next month, in the month of October and November both, we're going to have Winter Wonders. There are actually going to be two kits that coordinate with each other. The first kit is going to include 10 Christmas cards and envelopes. And then the November kit, we're going to um, have 24 Christmas tags that will coordinate with the cards. So make sure you are subscribed by, by October 10th to receive the October kit. Okay, so let's get going with, I'm gonna show you how to put the kit together. These are the two boxes that I just showed you. Let me bring everything in that we need. I'll put these aside. I'm just trying to find you guys on, on my iPad. Okay, there you are. So we have the two boxes. One is the striped and it's got the shimmery orange color. And then the other one is the polka dots. So all you need to do to assemble your boxes is fold all of the flaps. And then on the handles, there's a little piece that you need to take out of each handle. So I'm sure most of you guys have assembled your kits yet, but I know some of you guys get them a little bit later than everyone else. Okay, so now I'm going to actually put this part down, these two down, and then there's a little slit there. We're gonna slide that right into there, just pop it in, and that's it, and that stays together. Now, as far as the handles, there's also these little pieces off to the side that I forget about. Okay, and then not only do these fold towards the center, but the little handle part also folds over. So make sure you fold those over, put them together. And then these little tabs right here, just pop into that little hole that we just punched out. So very simple. So there's number one. So let me go ahead and do the second one. This time I don't need to talk my way through it. So this one will be quick. And there's, um, I can't remember how many. I think there's, is there 24 in our kit? So if you, some of you guys don't have kids or grandkids, make these up with little treats and thank your hairdresser and your bank teller. There's so many possibilities. Just pass them around, friends and family. I mean, you can fit a couple little treats in each box. Okay, so there's my second box. I just need to finish the handle part. Now we're going to add the two cute little tags. And we did get some black dimensionals, the mini dimensionals that came with the kit, and some glue dots. But I'm going, just for, um, to make this quicker, I'm going to use my own dots today. Now, the ink that came with the kit is Gorgeous Grape. I'm actually going to bring in my larger pad. We have the little skull image. And then you need to poke out the little tag. The skull image is just going to be stamped. And we actually have the skeleton that goes in the middle there. So you don't really need to do the whole thing because most of it's going to be covered. I'm going to add a glue dot in the center. Put that right there. My little skeleton, I'm going to add two dimensionals. These are so quick to assemble. 
And then our skeleton, see I put my uh, glue dot in the middle, it does show, but you just position the skeleton over the glue dot to cover that up. Next, we've got the Bon Appetit stamp image that goes on the little tag. And all I'm gonna do for that is add two glue dots. Oh no, I just ran out of glue dots and I don't have any close by. Okay, so there's my tag. I'm just gonna run and get some glue dots, hold on. Okay, here's my a new roll of glue dots. Now what I'm going to do is actually add them to my close pin just on one side. We're going to add the little hand on the close pin. And then we're going to take that, put it on the handle. And there's the first one. How cute is that? Now let's go ahead and do the second one. Again, we have the vellum circle that goes in the center. Then we have this little doily that has the skull right in the center. All I did was put a glue dot right in the middle. Now this time we're going to use the Toxic Treat sentiment. And I'm actually gonna add two glue dots, or not glue dots, dimensionals. And then I think they had this uh, sitting straight on the sample, but I like it at an angle, so I did mine at an angle. Again, we're going to add glue dots to the clothespin. Put the little hand in place. And then add that to box number two. So you can see how quick these are. They're really quick to mass produce. So even though you have 24 of them in your kit, I think it's 24, they're really quick to produce. Now, so let, let's go to the brochure. So on the brochure, there's actually a, a regular size card, a smaller card, and then two of the boxes. Let me go ahead and show you how to create this card. I've gone ahead and made a sample. You can see how cute and simple that is. So what I've used is the two inch circle punch. I punched out a vellum circle. In order for you not to watch me cut the two skeletons, these are done with the stamp image. As you can see, we have a stamp image, that's the skeleton. I've gone ahead and stamped them both with a gorgeous grape ink and cut around. It is doable, don't be afraid. Now I'm going to fold on the score line. So this actually measures 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. I'm going to bring in the little skeleton image and pumpkin pie. I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of uh, paper. I just changed my sheet and I don't want to get it dirty already. So now all I'm going to do is fill my card with skeletons. And this is pumpkin pie ink over pumpkin pie cardstock. You can see how easy this is. And I like to come in on the edges too and fill in the edges. I'm gonna put one right here. I don't like my edges to be nude. Okay, so that's it on that one. Now, I know that my skeletons are going to be glued one on each side, so I'm going to add a glue dot where I know I can hide them with my skeletons. That's gonna go right there. And then we add dimensionals to each skeleton. And let's see, we're going to glue the one with the floppy hands over to the right. And then this one is kind of saying hello. We're gonna glue him to the left. So there's that. Now I'm gonna do Happy Halloween. 
And all this is is just a piece of a half inch strip of white and it's actually two inches long. I'm just gonna stamp the sentiment right in the center. And I am gonna go ahead and glue that with dimensionals. And as you can see, I tucked it under the leg. Oh, you guys think I have a lot of a lot of patience with cutting the skeletons. They really weren't that bad because all you need to do is leave a little bit of white around all of the edges. They really were quite easy to do. Now I'm going to bring in the Noble Peacock rhinestones. I'm just going to add a few in the background. I'm out of the big ones. You can see here that I used a larger one. Okay, and there's that card. See how easy that one was? Just a one layer card with a couple uh, couple die cuts and hand cut pieces. Very simple. Now let's bring in the second card, which is the little gorgeous grape one. Now they did use a stamp set that I do not have, so I'm using something different for mine. Let me bring all my pieces in. So this is how I made my card. Instead of using birds, I used one of the bat images from Wonderfully Wicked stamp set. And again, I, I stamped with memento ink on white and hand cut around. And I also, again, used the two inch circle punch with uh, Mango Melody. And this is three inches by six inches scored in the center at three. We have a second layer of gorgeous grape and this measures two and three quarter by two and three quarter. I'm going to glue that in place with dimensionals. When I do tone on tone uh, layers like this, I like to use dimensionals because it, it really makes it pop so you can see that there are two layers there rather than glue them flat. I just think they stand out a little bit more. Okay, so that's gonna go in the front. And then we're going to glue the two inch circle. Next up is the doily. And again, I'm going to use glue dots. Just one in the circle and in, in the center is plenty. And that fits nicely inside the two inch circle. Next up is Trick or Treat, and I'm going to use the Memento Ink, Memento Black. I should have actually stamped this earlier to let it dry. It does dry nicely on here. Now what I did on this, just so my glue dots wouldn't show through, is I added the glue dot right behind the word or. I'm gonna use my paper piercer to pick that up just so I don't smudge the ink. And that's gonna be layered over. Sorry about that, my phone was ringing. That kind of interrupted the video, it wasn't you. Now I'm going to add dimensionals. And I'm going to glue the bat right on the background. So there's an adorable little three by three inch card to add to our collection. And I actually had done two bats, I forgot. I wanted to show you by adding two bats instead of one. So let me go ahead and add this one. So as you can see, this one is one bat and this one has two bats. So either one works. Now let's go over to the two little treat holders. I'm going to bring in my paper cutter. And good news on the paper pot, uh, cutter, as demonstrators, we're going to be able to order the new one on October 1st. And then the date will be announced soon as to when customers will be able to order. Now these are the two little boxes that I created. You can see how simple and cute these are. And let me gather all of the supplies I need. So all I did was cut off the section on the score line that, that was meant to be for the handles. I'm gonna use my paper trimmer. And then you can use these for layers if you want to. Okay, 
Okay, so now all we need to do for these is actually assemble the bottom parts. You're gonna put this piece first, the two side pieces, and then your bottom. Same on this one. And I didn't have any tissue paper nearby to fill, so I just put a, a tissue, a, a Kleenex tissue for now, but I will use um, the regular tissue paper once I get my, my box out. Okay, so now we're using the two little pieces that look like little tombstones. And then this image that fits directly in there. Now I need to bring something dark. Let me see, I got a piece of black here just so I can see where I'm stamping because this fits perfectly in that die cut shape. So there's that one. And the next one I did the little skull at the top and the happy Halloween at the bottom right below that. Okay, so there's the two pieces that I need. Next, I'm going to bring in my paper snips and actually just cut off where you see the black lines. Just cut those right off. So we're actually using one of the tags. And then I'm gonna flag the end into a banner. Very easy, so there's my banner. I get a little bit of black still on this one. Okay, next I'm going to glue that. I'm gonna glue it to the striped one this time instead of the polka dot one. And where's my other sentiment? Right here. Now tomorrow I'm going to be on at 10 a.m. and I'm going to have my very own alternative projects. I got three really cute ones for you. And that's Eastern time. Okay, so there's box number one. For box number two, we're going to use a close spin on that one. Add the glue dots. Add the hand. We're gonna clip that to the box. And then I'm just gluing this one flat because it's supposed to resemble the hand holding the sign. And there's that project, or both of these projects. So let me bring in all of the original projects. So these are the two, if you create them just like the kit. Let me see, I can't, I don't have room for all of them. And then these are the two alternative projects. And then the two cards that I also added. So you can see you can have a lot of fun with this. And a reminder, I'll be on at 10 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time. And also, don't forget to be subscribed by October 10th if you're interested in the two Christmas coordinated boxes for October and November. They're going to be great kits. So I hope you enjoyed my projects for today. And I hope you ha have been having fun with your kits. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Have a good Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye.